What's up everybody, it's Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with the line segment tool in Adobe Illustrator. This is kind of a short and sweet tutorial, but I'll try to make it interesting for you. All right, we have a new Illustrator document open, and we are going to be looking at the line segment tool. That's over here in the toolbar, the little slash icon there. And if you notice, the line segment tool at the end of that in parentheses is the shortcut key, which is the opposite slash. Don't know why they did that. But if we click on this, we have the line segment tool. Now the first thing we wanna do is set up our stroke. So over here in the properties panel, by the way, in CC 2018, you get this new properties panel over here to the right. If I select my stroke, I can change all kind of settings on it. The only thing I'll change for now is the points so that you guys can see it better. We'll change the weight of it to 10 points. So to use the line segment tool, I just click and drag. It's gonna draw a line from point A to point B and you can draw a line in any angle, in any direction you want to. But if we hold shift while we do that, it's gonna lock it into 45 degree uh, segments, just like so. And then also if we hold option, it's gonna scale in and out from the center. So you can create a line from the center out at any angle. If I let go of shift, I can just create it at literally any angle. Okay, so what else can we do? Well, with all of these tools that build shapes and lines and stuff, uh, you can just click on the canvas and it opens up the options panel. From here, I can designate, for instance, a 1000 pixel line at a certain specific angle, let's say 30 degrees, and then I can check mark whether or not to fill the line, which doesn't do anything visibly to the line, but it adds whatever fill I have over here to it in case I end up completing that shape, it'll show the fill. But for now, I have nothing selected, so I'll just not even select this one and hit OK. It creates that 1000 pixel line at 30 degrees. So let's get a little bit more creative with this. Those are all the basic options. What I can do now, for instance, if I change my stroke to something like with rounded caps and make it a dashed line, let's say uh, we do the dash at how about 50 points, just like that, and we could set a gap of 10 points. Uh, no, how about we do uh, 50 points on that gap or else it won't even look like a dash. We set that up, and now when we use the line segment tool, that will be the line that is created. So if you need to create several dotted lines in a row or want to change that over and over for the different line segments that you wanna create, you can go in there and change those stroke options. We could change this to 40, and then it's gonna change that line completely, and we can just create different types of lines with our line segment tool based on what we set up in the stroke options. That's it for this tutorial. Like this video if you learned anything. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.